Today we are flying one of the most run down airlines in Africa on a plane that is literally falling apart, infested with bugs and cockroaches, where you can smoke on the plane and no safety demos are shown. Quite shocking, there was no safety demo. Guess what? She just jumped all her stuff on my tray <laughs> without asking me. Join me on the flight from hell traveling from Conakry to Senegal with a three hour delay endless check-in lines and passengers dumping their food on me. This is the story of Mauritania Airlines. Guys, a beautiful good afternoon from the unfriendliest country in the world um, with striking police officers, rude taxi drivers and unfriendly hotel staff. A beautiful good afternoon from Conakry in Guinea. And today we are flying Mauritania Airlines from Conakry to Dakar. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm very curious to know how they perform. So let's head to the airport for another aviation adventure. This is the only kind of like Western standard hotel here. And they charge you 200 euros a night. Hey, how are you? I'm just checking out. You have an ATM there? Okay. Do you mind uh, calling him a taxi to the airport? Okay. Or, let yeah. Me, let me, let me All right. Thank you. Ah, I wait here. Okay. And so our journey begins. Fun fact: I was told that Conakry is the rainiest capital in the world, with over 160 raining days a year. Not sure whether that's a fact, but perhaps that explains right. why people in Guinea always seem grumpy and unfriendly. But luckily for us. The sun is shining today. Next stop, Ahmed Sekou Touré International Airport. Hey guys, do you want another fun fact? The street leading from the hotel to the airport is called Fidel Castro Highway. No comment. Good. Yeah, thank you. Hello. 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 Um, and now we're going to go and check in from Mauritania Airlines, which offers a fifth freedom flight from here to Dhaka. Don't ask me why. Hey, how are you? <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty excited to <laughs> go on this adventure. Let's do this. Let's check in. Camera, uh, English. Off. Oh, off. So I'm going to film a little bit secretly, but uh, it kind of reminds me of Nigeria because so many securities and everyone is telling me off not to film. Um, there's only four flights today, uh, one to Paris, one to Istanbul and two to Dhaka. So Air France, Turkish Airlines, Air Senegal and Mauritania Airlines. There's a massive queue already, so the flight is definitely going to be full. And uh, yeah, quite a hectic place. And it took a good two hours until it was finally my turn to check in. Hey, how are you? I have destination Dakar. Dakar, exactly. It's 20F, right? I picked online. Window seat? Yeah, I picked 20F before because so I like to sit in the back. Is it still available? Sorry? I think I picked a seat already. I picked 20F. No, there no? was no seat. 
Yeah. All right. I give seven F. Or you want back? In the back. I feel better in the back. <laughs> I'm scared in the front. <laughs> you want to go 20? Yeah, give me 20 F for it. I have a... Do you have window okay. seat there? 20 F. Give me a... Okay. You have it? Yes. All right. Beautiful. Is okay? You are a legend. Thank you so much. The flight is full, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a superstar. Thank you. Bye. So after two hours in the queue, I finally made it, got my boarding pass. Now let's head for immigration and they are not particularly known to be nice <laughs> from my experience arriving yesterday. So getting myself a little snack because I don't think there's going to be any food on the plane. Um, literally went through immigration and security in two minutes, but the whole check-in took like over two hours. And yesterday when I arrived in the country, um, the immigration officer wouldn't want to speak in English to me and then he went on a strike for like five minutes. He asked me something and I said, unfortunately I don't speak any French, do you speak English? Which you couldn't expect from an immigration officer. And then he got kind of angry, said something, mumbled something in French and then he was like leaning back, folding his hands and was not doing anything. And I was like, you know, I have time, I'm not going to play those games. And then after five minutes he asked me, phone number, what's your phone number? In perfect English, so he actually does speak English and then when he was done he threw his passport at me so um, yeah quite hilarious um, but so but the check-in was really lovely as you saw the agent there she was really kind and I'm glad that I finally met someone from Guinea who's friendly well done nice all right let me enjoy my snack and uh, then uh, we'll anticipate the arrival of Mauritania Airlines 737-700 and this is it, this is pretty much the entire airport here. There's four gates, um, a huge uh, portrait of the president of Guinea, and also interesting fact, the apron um, is completely dark. So outside you can't even spot any planes because it's not illuminated. So I haven't seen that before um, either. And the plane, uh, so we were supposed to board in 10 minutes, but guess what, the plane is actually still on the ground in Dhaka, so it flies from uh, Mauritania to Dhaka, here to Conakry, back to Dhaka, and then from Dhaka back to um, uh, Mauritania. So that's what it does. And I just checked on flight radar, and the plane is still there on the ground. So flight time is a little bit over an hour. So until it gets here, I'm sure we will not leave at 8:50 as scheduled. Um, but hey, TIA, you know this is Africa <laughs> so there's one issue here at the airport there is heaps of mosquitoes in here and let me tell you airport malaria is a thing especially in Africa like it even goes that far that sometimes people travel from Africa back to Europe and somehow a mosquito manages to get on the flight as well to clothes or whatever then disembarks the plane in Europe and then bites someone and they get malaria in Europe even though they have never been to Africa. So if you ever at an African airport, stay clear of mosquitoes. It is a thing, you can Google it. <laughs> so yeah, it's the last thing that I wanna get and yellow fever. Though my friends say I do suffer dramatically from yellow fever. <laughs> And there she is, with a slight delay of just two hours, Mauritania Airlines 737-700. The plane was originally delivered to Air Senegal 19 years ago and handed over to its current owner in 2011. It's one of two planes the airline operates. When I did some more research on the airline, I was surprised that they had been removed from the EU ban list in 2012. Because if you see the plane from the inside and how the crew operates in terms of safety, they should be on top of any band list. Thank you. So we are finally boarding the 737-700, which literally just arrived 10 minutes ago. Great uh, effort getting that plane ready to turn around that quick. But before we go on this incredibly crazy flight, a quick word from our sponsor today. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN with some great Black Friday and holiday deals until the rest of the year. 
So let me give you a few good reasons why you should get Surfshark VPN as well. By using Surfshark VPN, you get around online censorship. Whether you want to access TikTok in India, make video calls in the Middle East, or use Instagram in Russia, and all this while protecting your online identity, especially when using public Wi-Fi. My favorite part? Finding cheaper flight deals by changing my location using a VPN, and I'm also able to access different Netflix libraries or watch the highlights of my favorite football team by getting around geolocation blocking. Use the link surfshark.com slash Josh Cahill, which you can see right here or in the description box below and get Surfshark VPN for little as two euros a month plus four additional months for free if you lose the link in the description box below. Limited offer until the end of the year. So take advantage of it. You won't get a VPN for a better price. So check out the link right now. Now let's continue with our flight review. Hi, how are you? All the way in the back. Thank you. And here we are, welcome on board. And this plane features 12 business class seats and 102 seats in economy class. Let me tell you, the plane did smell really bad. How are you? 20F. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board Mauritania Airlines 737. Um, there's a few bits missing. Um, such as my armrest or the armrest in front of me um, and uh, somebody spilled some water next to me but other than that had a very lovely welcome by the crew at the door and also pretty impressive how they got that plane um, cleaned within 10 minutes and uh, now we're getting ready to fly to Dhaka it's a little hot in here uh, but I'm sure it's gonna get a lot better once we are airborne. But other than that, I am extremely happy and delighted to be flying Mauritania Airlines. What a rare gem of an airline that not many get to fly. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Apart from the plane falling apart and being beyond filthy, I also encountered a couple of bugs and cockroaches that call this plane home. To be honest, that was absolutely gross. I also spotted some in the loo as well as the galley. Yes, the place where your food gets prepared. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. We then pushed back and made our way to the runway, hoping the plane would not break apart on its way there. A lot of you guys asked me about the gear I use to film my videos, so I put together a comprehensive list on my website. The link is in the description box below. So guys, we are a good 20 minutes into the flight and there is a hot meal in front of me. Um, Funnily enough, the tray table in front of me is like totally broken and the phone won't stay there. Um, but yeah, quite shocking. There was no safety demo prior takeoff. Haven't seen that at all. And um, <laughs> my seat, this corner here, is full of cockroaches. There's like bugs everywhere. And it's like during takeoff, it's leaning against the window. And then all of a sudden, I saw something move. And it was a bloody cockroach. <laughs> But yeah, they serve quite a lot of food on this flight. No idea who is supposed to eat this. Um, but yeah, quite an adventure here. <laughs> so the, the passenger next to me just left. I had to go to the loo during the meal service. And guess what? She just jumped all her stuff on my tray <laughs> without asking me <laughs> oh, that's hilarious that's also a first timer I love my time here in Mauritania Airlines there's a lot of things happening my newfound friend came back from the loo and took her food back to her tray without saying a word as if it was the most normal thing in the world to do you're welcome 
We then started our descent and the crew literally struggled to get the cabin ready for landing. And even someone went to the toilet to smoke. On short final, people were still queuing for the laboratory and nobody gave a damn. In fact, it was even occupied during landing. What a flight it was. Honestly speaking, I was never that happy to get off a plane the way I wanted to get off this Mauritania Airlines 737. And I'm quite certain that this was my last flight on the airline as well. So the plane is continuing to knock shots in Mauritania um, so everybody who travels there is supposed to stay on the plane however now one or two passengers must have left the plane and now they can't find them which means the bus is not going to leave until they found them a good 50 minutes went by until they found their missing passengers and we were finally off to the arrival terminal So guys, and here we are. Welcome to Dhaka, Senegal. And honestly, the last 15 minutes of the flights were an absolute nightmare. First, the person or the individual next to me um, still had her food on uh, her tray um, because when they start carrying it, they forgot about her. And uh, she got so annoyed, she just without asking me, put my tray table down and put her leftovers in there. And in that moment, everything literally dropped on my leg. So there was rice, uh, stuff, whatever, all over me. I was brilliant. Didn't even apologize. Oh, my back is here as well. And then it gets even better. Somebody goes to the loo and smokes and it smells so bad in the back of the cabin. And even better, two minutes before we touched down, um, a mom with her child went to the loo and they literally stayed there for landing. I haven't seen anything like this in a very long time. Okay. All right. So I got a taxi. The problem with Dhaka Airport is it's literally one hour from the city. It's always a long drive. Luckily, it's a highway, but the distance is just no fun. So here we are in Adaka. I made it. Uh, yeah, I would have been here a lot earlier if the flight wasn't delayed 90 minutes, almost two hours by the end. And uh, yeah, what's the, what's the perfect word to describe it? It was quite a shit show. Yeah, uh, the, the delay, forever check in, um, no safety demo, like broken cabin really old cabin no, no no safety awareness smoking passengers rude individual next to me who dumped her meal on my leg uh the list goes on and on that was i mean it's fun it's an adventure you know it's the kind of stuff that that we love to watch it's the kind of stuff that we love to do because we go to the very uh, remote corners of the earth where we find those very unique airlines nobody ever gets to fly it i mean i was i was i was entertained 100 percent. i'm sure you guys are entertained too but yeah it's uh it's something else mauritania airline is definitely something else and uh i mean if you want to have a good time and you want to have uh, uh an in-flight meal on your on in your lap and uh you want to smoke on your flight and uh, or, or sit on the laboratory for landing then this is your airline you know but other than that yeah it was 
quite shit. Um, tomorrow I fly, and now I don't know whether I pronounce it right or wrong, an airline from Africa called ASCII or A-Sky. I don't know exactly how how it's called, but uh, yeah, I take them from here to Praia. I think they're part of Ethiopian Airlines or something like that, um, kind of a budget airline. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's going to be another interesting flight. And then I fly on TUI to London, which is, uh, I always wanted to do a video on a holiday on a charter airline. I think mean, I've never really done that, uh, which is going to be quite interesting. And then I'll be flying Airpiece, the, 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 the channel's favorite after Tunis Air, Airpiece from London to Lagos in business class on the 777. I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. Guys, this is it from my side. Please check out my Patreon. If you want to support my work, the link is in the description box below so you can be part of my WhatsApp group. Um, early access to my videos, your name in the credit, get the Cahill key ring, a lot of cool perks. I am going to sleep now because I'm really, really tired and um, see you guys next week.